Hey friends, today I am back at the Magic Kingdom. This is the second time I've been here since it reopened and I decided to come out and just take a look at some of the cool classic Disney attractions. Last time I was here I was with uh, Super Enthuse and Adam the Woo and we knocked out, you know, the Big Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain and Seven Doors Mine Train. Today I wanted to take things just a little bit slower. So, let's go do this. The parks are still eerily empty. It's actually really awesome to see it like this, especially when you're walking through Main Street shops and stores. It kind of blows your mind. Like inside the confectionery, I've never seen it like that before. There is nobody interested in getting candy or any sweet treats today, or there's just very little amount of people here. But usually it's very crowded here, always crowded. Speaking of shops, I think I'm going to head over to the Emporium because it is time for a new seasonal hat. This one is getting way too hot for July, so we're going to switch it up and see if we can get a nice fancy summertime hat. And would you look at that. Oh yes, now that is a summertime hat with a little golden Mickey. I think we've got a winner. Oh, and here we go. A bald. Ah. Oh yes, I feel absolutely cooler. I can tell you that already. This one is 88% paper, so that means I'm probably going to have to buy quite a few of them. This one was polyester, and I bought maybe about seven or eight of them. But let me know if you guys like the new summertime hat. And uh, let me know if you like this hat. Maybe I'll bring this back for when fall and winter comes. That might be the single coolest thing I have ever seen in my life. Wow. This is amazing. Holy moly. Look at all those birds. And speaking of hats, I think we're going to do a spin on the mad tea party only because like i said i want to stick to the classics and this is an opening day attraction here at disney world it is also one of my favorite holiday layovers for christmas and especially for halloween and there's actually nobody waiting in line so that's pretty awesome i guess oh now we're starting to get some people in line with us maybe the cups will be half full you see what i did there oh yes I'm so excited. I'm the first one. I get the pick of the litter here. Which one should I go with? Pink? Oh, she said uh, anyone I like. So, oh boy. This one. I have rode the teacups with many people and I feel like there's different types of teacup riders. I kind of like the slow, steady spin. There's other people that will just go to town and they'll spin, they'll spin. Other people just won't spin at all. Which one are you? Let me know in the comments. Slow and steady. That's how I like it. Oh, I can see one of those mad spinners over there. <laughs> this really is cooling me off though, I can tell you that. It's very nice and relaxing. <laughs> no hands! <laughs> that was a great spin. Definitely want to sanitize after that one though. That was super awesome. That's the ticket, little spin around. Usually I feel like a little like blah after that, but I actually feel great. Maybe it was because it was just me. And like I said, I was going at my casual spin pace. I have to point out, everybody's all about the front of the castle picks, but this is just as beautiful back here. I never actually came back and appreciated it after it got its fresh paint job. I love it. There's a lot more blue right here in the second layer. Wow. And in traditions of opening day attractions, Peter Pan's Fright, because it's 10 minutes long. I mean, the line looks very long, but that's not the case. I'm so excited because I haven't walked through the queue probably in three years. I've always just planned if I wanted to ride Peter Pan, I would just book a fast pass. So I never went in the standby. I did go in when they remodeled the standby and did the uh, actual queue, but that was the last time. And I think it was like two years ago. 
and it's really interesting because the queue is basically outside and they're going exactly by the six foot markers but then once you get on the inside it's just kind of walking straight through it and look at how cool it is in here i forgot how much i loved it Look at Tink right there. Oh, this is my favorite part right here. There's my shadow. There it is. Ooh, look at all the butterflies. And right here, it's time to get pixie dusted so we can fly. Thank you. My favorite part. Hello. I'm very fancy like that. <laughs> Here we go. Magical, isn't it? I got tired of carrying my other hat, so bubble hat. And it... oh! <laughs> now we're gonna head on into Liberty Square. Oh, I love it over here too, especially right now. I know that a lot of people are focusing on the low crowds and the open spaces, but it's just something amazing to see, especially when you're such a die-hard Disney Parks fan. It's amazing. But that is definitely not amazing to see. No, 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 no. <laughs> Still blows my mind that I just recently discovered that you can see the contemporary from right here in Liberty Square. I think that was the last time I was here. I was like, what? Never even noticed it peeking right there. I have a feeling, and I actually hope I'm not right, that when we get to our next attraction, we're gonna come out and this beautiful sunshine's gonna be gone and it's gonna be raining. I really hope that's not the case, but we're gonna go for it anyway. Because we are heading to the Country Bear Jamboree, another opening day attraction. And of course, starring Big Al. He is my absolute favorite. So let's go have a wild, wooly good time. Oh, nice to see a lot of people in here. The country bears deserve the appreciation of the fans. Oh. I always sit to the farthest left just so I can get a great view at Big Al. Hey, can you go yeehaw? Go one, two, three. Yeehaw! Wow. 
shopping home and I went out with the boys. Uh, she's kind of heavy, don't weigh a ton. She's my woman through and through. I love her only because her heart is true. <laughs> and blood all around I don't Wow, and guess what? It didn't actually rain oh Nope, now I feel the drops. But at least we didn't walk out of Country Bears to a downpour. I'd rather it start raining when I'm walking around. So now we're gonna, might as well get wet. Might as well go Splash Mountain. I mean, we're gonna get wet in the rain, so might as well take a dive or a plunge on Splash Mountain. And 10 minutes, look at that. These AC ducts are the best AC blasters on property. I have to tell you that. I love it. You may get wet. You may. But we're already going to get wet. We're going to get wet because of the rain. And I just luckily got paired up with Taylor. Hi! What are the chances of that? We were just in line and they were like one and one and then they said one. <laughs> Look at those storm clouds approaching. Oh. And they turned off the splashers right here. Luckily, because we begin hit right now. Do you hear it? Ready? Oh yes, it is looking so gloomy. At this point, I'm excited that we actually got on the ride instead of just getting wet for no reason. How do you do? The laughing place? Oh, yes. We. No FSU. Oh, FSU. this hat stayed on the whole entire time it didn't folks don't don't do that take your hats and glasses off you might lose them <laughs> most people think the drop is where you get the wettest they're wrong <laughs> they're wrong don't sit on this side <laughs> I apologize if the lens got a little wet or my glasses, mask, hat, face, I mean, 
If it's not, did you even really ride Splash Mountain? <laughs> well, I think that's gonna do it for me. I'm glad that I got out before the rain actually started. I mean, so technically, I didn't have to ride Splash Mountain because I still would have gotten wet, but actually I wouldn't because the rain never happened. I'll probably make it to my car safe and sound, but oh well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.